I've never sewn with a thimble. I would just hold my needle and thread and not protect my fingers and go through. Pull the needle out. Go through. Pull the needle out. But in trying to learn how to use the thimble properly, I came across a rather interesting thing. Everyone tells you certain things, but nobody's telling us what to do after the needle's got through the fabric. Once the needle's through, now what do you do? How do you hold the needle? Welcome to 24 Washington Avenue. If you're new, I hope to post videos of historically and vintage inspired creations, show you the workings of my antique sewing machines, and hopefully share bits here and there that you didn't know. I sincerely hope you'll stick around, so if you like what you see, be sure to click subscribe along with the bell to be notified when I upload something new. Thank you! I've had a really hard time getting the hang of using a thimble, but I think I'm just about there. I know there are lots of thimble videos out there, but they all seem to have missed one thing that was quite critical for me, or at least I haven't found any that have included this information, and that is what to do with the needle once it's gone through the fabric. How do you pick it up correctly? If you've never used a thimble before, the general practice is to wear it on your middle finger. If you imagine holding a pencil, how your middle finger would be tucked behind, the needle will lie between your thumb and index finger at a point where it can butt into your middle finger. So like this. And then the instructions will tell you that you go through your fabric, you go out the other end, you push as far as you can with your index and thumb, you transfer the motion to your middle finger, push through, and then you lift the needle. Now, I've always just grabbed the needle, pulled it up, straight up, and around. But that won't work with the thimble, because if you pull it up like this, look where it is in relation to the thimble. So the moment I, you know, here's the, here's the head here, if I try to extend my middle finger, keeping a distance between my index finger to get it back in place to, to push through, that's an awful strain on my knuckles and the back of my hand. I can just feel it. it's horribly, horribly uncomfortable. So the key to pulling the needle out is that it needs to maintain that horizontal aspect. It needs to completely be as flat as possible. So doing that again, through the fabric, out the fabric, as far as I can with my index and thumb, transfer the motion to my middle finger, pushing it through. Don't let the needle push north. Keep it as flat as you can. Pinch the needle and pull it almost as if you're carrying on in that direction and, and use your arm to pull it back to where you need to go. Now, after you've received the needle with your fingers again, tuck your finger back in, middle finger back in, use your fourth and fifth to grab your string, keep it out of the way, rotate, pull, and then you're ready to go again. And notice how now, by maintaining that the horizontal aspect in my needle, my middle finger's right here ready to grab it again. Through the fabric, out, thumb and index push, middle finger comes in, takes the movement, thumb and index grab it, pull out, middle finger tucks back in, fourth and fifth, grab the string, pull, and prepare to go again. Middle fingers in place, through, thumb and index, middle finger takes over, thumb and index grab, keeping the needle flat, come through, middle finger is still there, fourth and fifth grab, and again. I really hope that's helpful to someone. Let me know if it has helped you.